If you ever wanted to color grade your photos to look like some famous Hollywood movie blockbusters or to add amazing J.J. Abrams types of lens flares to your photos like from Star Trek movies etc or to add even more special effects and much much more now you can do that with Boris FX Optics new plugin for Photoshop and Lightroom that I will show you today so sit back relax and get ready to be amazed. Hey guys, it's Neyman and welcome to another really fun episode. Boris FX Optics is a new plugin both for Photoshop and Lightroom and also it comes as a standalone version so you can use it without Photoshop or Lightroom if you want that. Before I jump into the software and show you some amazing things that you can do with it, let me first tell you a few things about it. First of all, this episode is sponsored by Boris FX but everything that I say today is completely my own opinion. Spoiler alert, it's an amazing piece of software. Second thing, Boris FX is already a famous company. They got three engineering Emmy awards for their softwares for Sapphire, Mocha Pro and Silhouette and all those softwares are used for making some amazing visual special effects for Hollywood movies, uh, TV series like Stranger Things, Game of Thrones and so on and so forth, you name it. So now they made a new plugin that you can use to create some special effects directly on your photos with really no struggle at all. So let's jump straight into the software and let me show you what you can do there. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and before we jump into this amazing piece of software, I always like to make a copy of my layer, right click and convert it into smart objects. So in that way, I have opportunity to go back and forth from Photoshop to optics and change something on the go if needed. This is how the software looks in the middle of the screen. We have the photo itself on the left side. We have layers exactly the same like in Photoshop and we can create as many as we need and we can blend them with same blending modes that we have in Photoshop. We can change the layer names, change the opacity and so on and so forth. At the top portion of the screen, we have navigation bar and at the bottom of the screen, we have the main thing, the effects, the filters itself. This is such a huge piece of software and it's divided in nine different categories as you can see right here and it contains 160 effects with thousands of presets. So there is no way to show you everything today. I will just scratch the surface with this review. But the beauty of this software is that you can download the trial version and try everything for yourself. So if you go to one of the filters, for example, auto adjust, you will see the presets on the right side. And currently there are three presets in this filter and also you can change the parameters for every single preset. So for this one, you can only change the opacity. But if you go to another filter, one of my favorites, color correct filter, you can see a bunch of presets here. And also all these presets are basically color correction presets from famous Hollywood movies like Westworld, Titanic, Wizard of Oz, Tron and so on and so forth. And they're looking much better on color version of the photo, not just black and white like this Batman. But you can download this software and try it for yourself. Also really cool thing here is that you can go to parameter tab and change bunch of settings here. Also. Uh, you can change shadows, midtones and highlights separately or just go to master and just change the look and nail this however you want. Maybe you want this kind of night vision Batman with maybe less saturation and this is really cool. Change the contrast, change the gamma and you will get something like this. Also, if you're familiar with video editing softwares like Premiere Pro, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, we have this really cool color wheel here. Right now I will skip a bunch of the filters here and I will show you one more, one of my favorites, Match. This is really cool because you can match the colors from one photo to another photo. So if we choose one photo right here, for example, my cyberpunk photo, in a matter of a couple of seconds, I will get my cyberpunk team onto the Batman photo. Isn't that amazing? So we can change the color, we can change the brightness and nail this however we want. So let me show you, this is my source photo and this is the original photo with color correction applied from that. And also you can grab the shot from a movie and just load it here and apply color grade from some movie like with really just one click. All right, now let's go to another tab, Diffusion Blur, and you will see that here we have a lot of S filters with S underscore name of the filter. S means that these filters are brought in here from Sapphire. As I already said, Sapphire is Emmy awarded software that is used in a bunch of Hollywood movies and TV series for creating special effects. And now they brought it into the optics so we will be able to create some cool special effects for your photos. But I will skip all of them. Maybe I will just show you this one because it's really cool in a matter of one click you can create really cool bokeh effect from 
one photo as a background for another photo, whatever, and then change the parameters here and play with that. But then we have film labs, you can create some film damage effects, some film stocks, simulation of famous films, and so on and so forth. Gradient tints, check out this for yourself. Lens, light here. This is amazing portion. We have amazing lens flares from uh, famous Hollywood movies and also light leaks and a few other things. But now let's go to the render tab and here is all filters are from Sapphire collection. As you can see, they're all S version of filters. And I want to show you how to create realistic lightning effect in one click. So this is it. Now you can move the lightning on the screen whenever you want, position it however you want, change the shape, change orientation, change whatever you want. Also, there are a bunch of other presets that you can try, but I will go to parameter tab and just play here with number of bolts. As you can see, maybe I want just a few of them, maybe just three of them. I can end uh, vary the endpoints, so make it a little bit wider. Maybe I can make it a little bit uh, thicker here at the end or thinner, whatever we want. Also, I can add a little bit more branches here if I need. And a lot of things that you can change here. Also, you can change the glow. Maybe I want a little bit more towards the teal look and uh, change the glow width and so on and so forth. But what I like here is to push this lightning behind the Batman. So I don't want to go in the front of the Batman, I just want to have it as a background. And really cool thing about the optics is that you can create a layer mask like in Photoshop, but much better because you have a lot of ways to create a layer mask. One of my favorites is Easy Mask. And here we can see a bunch of tools that we can use to create Easy Mask, but I will use just those two for today. With the green color, I will make an outline for the things that I want to keep. And if you want to know more about Easy Mask and how you can really create some awesome masks easily, then go to Boris FX YouTube channel and check out. They have detailed tutorial about that. So for this, I will just simply create one outline and with the red color, another one for the things that I don't want to keep. And as you can see, guys, basically with just two lines, we are going here to calculate. It will calculate the mask. It made the mask, but we need to invert it. And this is it. If we press M, we can see the mask, we can refine it even more, but this is really complex mask because we have a lot of these rain here and it's really hard to determine the edges, but you can do that by using a few other things here. So now that I have a mask and I pushed everything behind, I can go back to my layer and also I can tweak this even more and play with this, but I will create another layer. And what I like to do here is to go to lights and create another effect. I will go here and use this S-ray. This is an awesome way to create some cool effects. See, see this, beautiful. So I will go to another one, to this one. And what I like to do here is just to place it somewhere on the lightning and to have this kind of effect, I can go to parameter and change the ray length. See, it's really beautiful. Change the brightness maybe a little bit, maybe it's too bright. And I will leave it like that. I can go then again, create another layer and just go to color correct and choose the color correction that I like for this type of photo. And this is it. So let me show you before and after. So this is what we started with. And this is what we created with these amazing effects. Of course, we can do it even better if we spend a little bit more time. Maybe I want to just lower this color correction option to something like this. And then when we are finished with that, let's go to this gear icon and it will bring us back to Photoshop. And here it is, we have this photo before and after. Amazing, amazing thing what you can do with the optics for your photo manipulation art. Okay, now I will show you another example here with this photo and I will go to Boris FX Optics and create a muzzle flash for this gun right there. So in a matter of a couple of seconds, the plugin will be loaded. Then I will go to render and muzzle flash. And here you can see that we have 3D muzzle flashes here for just one click. You can put this in any situation, any orientation, any angle, however, any pers perspective, it's really cool. And we have different type of these so as you can see you can choose whatever you want we can even use lanterns rifle and do that but let's go with i don't know breda and i will just modify this very really quickly as you can see guys we can now play with the seeds we can play with the octaves we can play with the brightness maybe we want more or less bright we can move it we can choose any angle any perspective any situation you can put it everywhere you want and here primary length, secondary length, and a lot of things as you can see right here. So 
you just need to play with these settings and when you're satisfied with that just go back to photoshop and in a matter of just a couple of seconds we have really cool realistic muzzle, muzzle flash and also we can add some bullet in the fly right there and so on and so forth so it's it's really cool and easy Okay, now for the final example, I will show you how you can really easily add a night sky, moon and some lens flares to this photo right here. So let's go to Boris FX Optics. And first thing that I like to do here is just to go to render tab, go to night sky. And this is a sapphire filter again. And in a matter of just few seconds, we have really cool night sky right there. There are a bunch of them right here. You can choose and try all of them. It's up to you, I will go with the default one. And here I can change a lot of things. I will just change the latitude a little bit and the longitude a little bit, but you can set any kind of constellations right here. And uh, this is one of most famous constellations with a famous star. I will not tell you what is it. If you know what is it, please let me know down there in the comment section below. Okay, so I don't like the stars right here, so I will create a layer mask right there and remove this filter for applying on the ground. So let's do it. And in a matter of a couple of seconds, I have a mask, everything is perfect. So that's it with the stars. Now let's create a new layer. Let's add a moon, again, sapphire filter, moon, it's right there. There are different moons right here. So you can choose between this blood moon, this cartoonish moon, this type of moon with the moon with a ring, this harvest moon. Also, we can just drag and drop the layer mask to this layer right there and we have this like there also let's maybe let's maybe go with this one this is this is awesome so we can create this photo in a matter of a couple of seconds but we can do with this too and also we can go to parameters and choose the the moon size let's make it a little bit bigger and also we can choose the lunar phase which is awesome we can choose the rotation we can choose the color also we can choose the bumpiness so let me show you really quickly so see the craters here and if we increase the bumpiness we'll have even more uh, craters, more depth in the craters, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I will go a little bit less with that. And also I will move the moon to the top left portion of the screen. I can change the color to any color that I like, literally. And also I can go and uh, make the glow a little bit brighter and wider. So this is it. And if I'm happy with this, Maybe, maybe I want a full moon. So let's, let's go with a full moon like that. And maybe I want to create another layer and to add the lens flare filter in the light. So this is one of my favorite filters again from Sapphire. This filter is used. These lens flare are used in many Hollywood uh, feature films, blockbusters and uh, TV series, as I already said, and there are a bunch of them, as you can see. So I love these from JJ Abrams. There are four of them, so I can use them. For example, they're used in Star Trek movies. They're beautiful. And the really cool thing here is that you can modify every single lens flare. So you can, you need to go to parameters, edit lens, and it will open a new window, a new piece of software. And here you can add different shapes to your current lens flare or just hide some portions of the lens flare that you don't want to be visible and maybe you want something like that press ok and in a matter of a couple of seconds everything will gone except these things that we added but for this example i will go with different lens flare i will go with orange ray 6 and let's just position it here also we can blur it a little bit so blur because it's too harsh and that's it let's create a new layer let's go to color let's color correct this quickly to something interesting so let's go maybe with gone with wind really cool let's press gear icon and let's go back to photoshop and here we have it this is before this is after in a matter of a couple of clicks we have night sky moon lens flare we can make the moon bigger or or smaller, change it, move it. If you don't like it, you can double click on the optics and just change anything and go back to Photoshop like this. As you can see guys, this software is really huge and it would take me several hours just to show you all the filters there and what they can do. For example, there's one really cool filter that I didn't show you for making really cool gobo effects, some lighting effects on a model's face, on a background, wherever you want. And also it has really cool slider for 
displacement so you can displace the light to realistically fall on a human face or wherever you're putting it so it's a really huge deal for me and also I will definitely continue to use this software for my future composite works but if you like it if you like what you see you can go and see even more tutorials on Boris FX YouTube channel and also you can go and follow the link down there in the description to purchase the software and because they're sponsoring this video you will get additionally 15% discount on your purchase if you following the link down there in the description and using my coupon code that you can find again down there in the description. Right guys, that would be it. If you have any kind of questions regarding to this uh, episode, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. I cannot tell you how much I love this software and I'm so happy that uh, I got a chance to try it and that I will use it in the future. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye.